Jim Crane, no restrictions. Pittsburgh Current. We are so excited uh, about this the show today because of the decoration. The new pumpkin was added to the set. Do you say pumpkin or pumpkin? I think I said pumpkin, but uh, my Pittsburghese could have come out and said it pumpkin. It sounded like you said pumpkin. A new pumpkin. <laughs> that is a Pittsburgh. That that's not no. That's not in any Pittsburghese books it's either. Not. And that's a Pittsburgh thing. I think it's just like a stupid person thing. No, 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 no. That's Pittsburghese pumpkin. Yeah. I, well, I and I'm a, st- a stupid person too, but that's a combination. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our, we have our intern here. How Kira are Cooper? you? Hi, I'm Cooper. Kira Cooper. Kira. 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 By the tenth show, I'll have your name down. <laughs> so you have to just keep telling, right? I took Jake a year before I got his name. <laughs> and they've called, only I known each him, other for four months. Yes, so can you believe I, I that? called him Jack for six weeks. <laughs> He's now Jack. Jake. Finally, and hit Jake hits Jack, me. Jack the pumpkin. King. Yes, and I'll be calling you Kara for the first month. Jack, and, and I work into Kara. Okay. Yeah, just just so you know. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, off, before we start the, the show, uh, uh, Sirini uh, uh, pretty much argued the whole time. We actually are friends, Kara. I swear. She actually sort of are friends. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we we got uh, an interesting show uh, for you today. A lot lot of strange material. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Still coming down from last week where we turned the show over to. To, to Sierney. I know. think that was our best show ever. It was one of the. <laughs> Look at the numbers. Yeah, we're going to break that up. We're breaking it up to best up. <laughs> best up. We're what did the numbers look like, Jake? Were they up? Huge. To up 45%. Honest, I, didn't, I didn't look. Yeah, I looked up 45%. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not making that up. Yeah. 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 Kira, yeah. back me up on that 45% right there. All right, anyone asks. <laughs> Thank we you. should. Numbers. <laughs> no, it was very, very nice. We'll do it again. Uh, it was great. Jake said when we left, Sierney did wonderful, but not good enough to put her on the sign yet. Mm. I said, really, Jake, we should really put her name up on the sign. He looked at me and went, Mm-mm. no, not ready. Hey, you know, can I can I take no. over for a quick second? All right. Uh, the guys that made our sign, which they're my friends, so I could just call them and be like, make me a new sign. You wouldn't notice. Like you said, you're <laughs> a stupid notice. person. The guys that made our sign from some good print just posted, today is National Respect Day, if you can believe it. There and, is it National Respect Day? And our signage guys, some good print, uh, chose us to be, like, they respect us the most. They posted us on their Instagram, on their website, that the, um, we are their pick for National Respect Day, and they posted ah, this sign, and you. That is so and nice. And most importantly, me. Thank you so much. Thanks, the sign guys. is magical. It really is. Right back I mean, at you. That's a heck of a sign. It really is. It's it's beautiful. The artwork on that thing is amazing. Everything yeah. about it is really, they do great work. But thank you for that. That's really nice they did yeah. that. Yeah, Pat and Eli from Some Good Print. What's up, guys? Thank you, guys. Jeez, thank you, Pat. Respect you, back. Very much so. Yeah. Happy National Respect Day. Happy National Respect Day. Wow. <laughs> and I didn't get a card from you. No, you won't. <laughs> you won't be getting one. <laughs> you will you know, not be getting a card. I, uh. Well, I had a gift for you. I, I, I didn't give it to you yet. How about what? that? Oh. I don't know what it... No, nah, I'm just picking it up. Because <laughs> happy respect Eve. Oh. Just want to get course. all excited. That was last night. That's just you want to exchange gifts with the family. <laughs> happy respect Eve. Some people do it on the day. I like the Eve. Jake, what do you like? The Eve or day? Eve. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. So, you can uh, drink during respect <laughs> Eve. <laughs> so Antonio uh, Brown has uh, been in the news a, a lot mm-hmm. over the last few months. We, whether you know football or don't know football... He's in the news. Uh, You're scaring Sierney. This is a sports talk. Here. I know that. I know about this. There was farting this involved, so I know about it. The boundary <laughs> yeah, of sport <laughs> to craziness. Uh, anyway, he. Uh, I'm. Re- I'm. I was doing another uh, angle on this, and all of a sudden, I'm looking at the uh, New York Post yesterday. This is in the New York Post, like on the cover. Big news. Big news <laughs> that Antonio Brown's doctor <laughs> is suing him. For farting in his face. Mm-hmm. That has to be a first. And that's the headline. That, you know, he farts in face. I'm like, what? And I'm, Why is this in New York? I'm reading it, and, and the guy, Dr. Conti or something, whatever the guy, gets his doctor. Dr. Conti? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> PhD. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he said he would examine Antonio, and he would fart in his face and laugh. Did you watch the video? They Wait, have video, a video of this. Wait, they have video. video of him farting in the face of the yeah. doctor. TMZ. How did I miss it's this? The video. This has gotten a big it's huge story. Post. It's on the post. It's like a link in it. It. I missed that on the, on the post of that the story. Farting. That is something. There's audio. It's clear audio. It's it's good. I have to say this. Oh my god. You seen it? No. 
I have to say this about uh, that whole story. For the doctor's uh, uh, sake, I, I think as a doctor, you should appreciate the, the ability that somebody, I kind of admire that you could fart on command. I wish I could do that. I can't. Because he would have to fart on command to be able to do that constantly. <gasps> it's true. You he it? did it. Well, I told you. Yeah, I think I made it up. No, I know that. Oh, I know that about photo. the news story. They have a photo? No, there's a video. There's of a him video of actually... everyone. So you get the video. Yes. We'll, we'll, we could link the video, right? Yeah. We'll link the I'm video. Sure I'm sure yeah, yeah, yeah. America has seen the video already. <laughs> well, just in case, there could be a few people who missed the fart story. That, that could slip by you. Fart story. Antonio that's what we're here Brown, for. Antonio Brown, flush it down. <laughs> Sierney, we are here for stories to slip by. <laughs> slip out. <laughs> yes, this one slipped out. It doesn't look like anything was slipping out of him. It looked like he was. No, it was like it was on purpose. Yeah. No, no, no. And then he was laughing about us. That was what definitely a, a fart that he could do on command, which I cannot do the fart on command. He claimed he had a lot of fiber that day. Really? Yeah. He said it. But after. he said he, the doctor kind of made a reference that he like does it all the time, like every exam or something. <laughs> I mean, Which I'm is not going to lie. I don't like this guy at all, but it's so funny to, to hear that he's like pranking doctors like this. He's well, like, every time I go see Dr. Brown. I'm going to fart in his I'm face. Fart in his face. And he just, and Dr. <laughs> Brown just goes, ah. now, but now he's going to, uh, he's What's, suing him. I yeah, guess. for $11,000. Yeah. yeah, I think that's probably an unpaid bill. Yeah, I think so. That's a hell of a bill for an exam. Yeah, or maybe just like the doing? Purell bill. I guess. Oh, I just saw A B was just in here. Or it's trauma. Air freshener. Yeah. Well, I mean that would depend with the the farts did they smell? Of course they mean did. something. Those, those not are protein always. farts. All farts don't smell. All all farts okay. are not created equal, Sierney. They're exactly. not exactly they're not, Thank but you, okay, he's an athlete, so he's eating all protein, protein chicken. Have, do you know what a protein fart is? No. I have experienced one, yes. Yeah, they're I do bad. Know what they are. They've gotta be gnarly. Every one. And they're not on command. They just happen. I know, and they stink. They do stink. Well, these ones were four, so they probably didn't stink. I would, I would tell you this: my my farts, <laughs> I, they don't really stink a lot. I got to tell you, I'm pretty good with farts. Yeah. Not a lot of things I'm good at. <laughs> I don't have many gifts. <laughs> but one of the gifts I have is that very few that my farts don't really stink. They do sometimes, mm -hmm. but rarely. That's the quote is, of the show. Which is good. Which is good because I got to tell you. I'm the king of the accidental farter. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good because if they smell, you'd smell it. But if they don't, you don't know. No harm, no foul. You may hear a little noise and look around the room. <laughs> and Jim's like, oh, my shoe. Right. Ooh. It's not me. <laughs> it is me, really. But I mean, I can get away with it. <laughs> and then if it smells real bad, I blame it on Larry the dog. Right. That's why you get a lot of dogs. Big ones, small they, ones. They it's carry. A big the, oh, Coda. <laughs> every once in a while, Coda. Yeah. Blame it on him. So. Antonio Brown does. But anyway, the, the the other story with Antonio Brown is this past week, and a lot of you know about this already, but O.J. Simpson uh, weighed in on, on him, tweeted. He's worried about him and says he's got to calm down. <laughs> O.J. told yeah, him when, to calm down. When the juice is the guy telling you to calm down, it's got check time. What point, oh, right? If O.J. Simpson is saying, <laughs> man, you're losing control. You got to you got to chill out, man. You got to just reflect on your life. Wasn't it like the BTK killer saying breathe? Watch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next in line to help him with this, you know, device? But yeah, OJ Ted when Bundy. He's going to rise up. <laughs> yes. OJ said he's keeping him on his uh fantasy football team. Okay. Yes. There's a lot of un lot to unpack here. I don't know a lot about sports, but I know who OJ Simpson is and I know what he is oh, yeah, guilty what he's of uh, and has yeah. been proven innocent of. Uh and I know this guy's just a real piece of dog shit. And uh of course he's connecting on to Antonio in like some some way. Mm -hmm. He's like, ah, oh, kindred spirits. Kindred spirits. Yeah. There you go. I'm a piece of shit. He's getting a little publicity. He's getting his little pub Little, yeah, little and I think he also, there. and you know how OJ was, he was obsessed with being famous. Yes. He did the Hurts, he did all the, the acting career, Love, football, seems, yep. murder. Double like, murder, that yeah. kind of stuff, allegedly. So he's just anything, he's just like latching on to Antonio Brown, another young football player. And he's just like, and have you been following yeah. him on Twitter? I have been. OJ is like every day uploading videos, with uh, talking politics, talking about politics. Of course. That's that, why you, you got to follow him, of course. Uh yeah, you know, 
AK uh, Colling uh, got a bad deal on that. He, his best his best friend. Now, his best friend was the the, the Bronco Chase. Yep. He drove the car mm-hmm. for for OJ. Yep. Now, you know, friend of the year. Mm-hmm. For he sure. He didn't kill anybody. Mm-hmm. He just helped his He's friend like, out. I'm taking you for a ride. Joy ride. You're my friend. You do double murder. You said, Jim, get away. Let's go. I'm driving. I'll help you out, Sarani. I'll Nobody drive. Nobody will know it's us. No. <laughs> I'm only would, the most famous person on the planet. We wouldn't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I just, you know, just always this little. What do you think? Do you think he did it? A lot of people still think he did it. He <laughs> he had everything but his fucking Heisman trophy at the murder scene for Crazy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, they could, he left a picture of himself. Should, yeah, there should have been autographed <laughs> to whatever the guy's name, you know, with the glasses and, 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 and his ex-wife. is like, here, thank you. Nice OJ. OJ was here. Glad well. to stab you. Goodbye. <laughs> or whatever. You know, my God. He might as well have got on Tilden and said, Where are my where's my other fucking glove? <laughs> oh, behind the air conditioner. The one with the blood on it. <laughs> and he still got away with it. It's amazing. Still got away with it. You know, it was funny. That was really if you go back and look at the document uh, there was a there's show on so Netflix. So many too. There's twenty of them. Yes, the one on Netflix is American fun. Crime Show. Uh, not fun, but you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's well, well I produced. Love shit like that. It was well produced. <laughs> no, well produced. <laughs> we love crime shows. Like it's like Sarah aka damage control. Yes. Thank you. But uh, yeah, he's yeah he did it. I think hundred percent he did it. And like the more stuff that yep. comes out, the garment bag thing. Come on. Okay, There's... wait a minute. Let's talk. Let's like backpedal just a little bit. Do you realize that the Kardashians would straight up just not exist? Oh yeah. If it wasn't for that, absolutely moment in history. Yes. Like we would have no Yeezy. The dad we would it. have no Kim. Nothing. We would have no Ray J. Dick mm-hmm. on the internet. Mm-hmm. Right. Like all of that. Which hurts if w- the porn movie would have been bad. That's how lose. famous OJ was. That the spinoff from OJ Simpson was Kim Kardashian, the biggest star on the planet, the, the most famous woman on planet Earth right now. If if you watch any of the the uh, documentaries on this thing, it Keeping was the beginning the of DNA. Uh, yes. So the DNA was around a bit, but it had just come just on. come out. But it's so funny because now we know how accurate dna is yep and at the time we didn't and i have to hand it to johnny cochran god rest his soul for being a lawyer that can get up in front of everybody a whole drawer mm-hmm. and then world going dna shmeana what is this stuff oh my god this is crazy this stuff this does not work i'm like <laughs> what well i mean he was brilliant for doing that and i don't think god rest his soul he was a dirty dog it, it was a help a guy get away with lawyer, murder this thing but he, but that's he his played job. his hand correctly. That's his job. He was like, it's my job to get this guy off. And that's his job. That's what he did. DNA Schmiene. DNA Schmiene. Doesn't, doesn't fit. You must have quit. Yes. And the, and the weird part was they also used a, a DNA expert, yeah. Barry Sheck. Mm-hmm. So at one hand, one week they'd be, that's how weird it was. Yep. The, the, it was the, just, just a weird time. He had. When that happened. Blood on his sock or something in, in his, his car, house. In his car. If, I, if you have blood mm-hmm. on your sock of the victim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And his, in, in the Bronco, there was in the blood Bronco, everywhere. Again, everything <laughs> dies in an autograph I could talk about this for days. It's so. a, well, I think a lot of people can. It's a fascinating, <laughs> fascinating it's thing. It's probably one of the most uh, covered topics ever, yes. I think, in history. Every oh, single, every yes. outlet has covered it. There's documentaries, there's remakes, movies, okay. the Kardashians, Th- this all is, of it. Now, please do not um, email that you hate me. Please uh, do. Being uh, politically incorrect. But there are a million um, jokes that are really, you know, not good jokes, but I should say not good, uh, I guess politically incorrect or just uncomfortable. Uh, do you? Remember, I know one that just killed me. I don't know I why. Because my, my buddy Harry, he'll tell. He's the guy who does the bar. He, he'll tell the joke, yeah. and the way he tells it just kills me. And this is politically incorrect, so please forgive me. Uh, but this is Harry. Here comes damage control in, in a bar. <laughs> coming up to me, OJ joke goes, "Hey, <laughs> she hear the joke about uh, what Ron Goldman said to Nicole in uh, in heaven." I go, no, what do you say? Here's your fucking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I That's not bad. I think you can. That's okay. Yeah, I like it. I, it's a pretty funny line. Or yeah, yeah. Joke. I, just a joke. God rest his soul. I I'm heard sorry. one. This isn't mine. I wish I could take credit for is it. Is it bad? 
No, like, it's just funny. Okay, go. Where it's like Let's the go. Kardashians uh, go. getting black men off since the OJ trial. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, oh, probably more politically incorrect. Yeah, very much so. You win. But it's you're usually the politically correct one. Uh, that's not my joke. That's I Just did not write it, that. So joke. all you send your complaints to the series. Please send them to me anyway. <laughs> bring them to her. Shoot me an email. Yes, Jimmy's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's change subject there. I was reading uh, the. Uh, now we like shows like Doctor Drew and all these doctor mm-hmm. shows, and you know, real news. talk. Real talk, real life talk. Reality TV. And I was, it was actually, this is from an article I read actually that, and it was about, <laughs> it was a big epidemic going on the, around the country. And uh, Jake, write this down for one of our charities and walks. Right. It's uh, masturbation addiction. Okay. Okay. So we're going to walk for masturbation addiction. Okay. Is there a masturbation break in the walk? A what? A like, break? Yeah, like a masturbation break if you're. Well, no, the idea would be a long walk. <laughs> you're supposed to abstain because we're addicted. We're, we're yeah, addicted. No. We're clean. You got to be clean. Oh, you want to okay, be clean. Be, all right. You want to not masturbate. It's right. clean. There's 12 steps. They have addiction uh, place, you know. Sex meetings. Addicts Anonymous. Well, this is for masturbation. But, you know, in particular, you know, I'm not a, I'm not an expert mm-hmm. at, at it, but I hold my own. You know, it's like. You're not an expert on this topic. But I hold my own. Bad joke. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. I I, oh, no, I, I got it. I thank you. I'm, I'm not an you. expert, but I hold my own. <laughs> God damn it. I waited all week to say that joke. I just pictured it different. You made a mistake. No, I pictured saying, <laughs> I, I pictured saying when I, hit, when I hit the line, but I hold my own. I pictured you crying, laughing. Oh. Jake can't stop, can't move. He's laughing so hard at that line. No. Charlie's we laughing were, in the background. We were both there silent. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing. There was like a moment. It's crickets. Yeah. You know? Is well, this on? It happens. Yeah. I mean, hey, is it a really, is it, a, is it an addiction? Is it bad? I mean, if you do it with yourself, you're not hurting anybody. I mean, I mean I'd mean, say I was an addict when Pamela Anderson back in the day. Mm-hmm. When I was younger and she had that poster came out in the first, first year of season of Baywatch. I was probably considered that. But, uh, <laughs> But it didn't hurt anybody. We can ask Michelle. She no, but if it's, if it's <laughs> taking over your life, which I'm sure it wasn't for you, no, but like some did. people probably have did. to really do like go to the bathroom. <laughs> Pretty to do much it. took over my life. But uh, yeah, you ever see that poster? It's unbelievable. Pain manners. But what, anyway. What would an intervention for that be like? Your come in the room, walk in the room. Yeah. And <laughs> your whole family is like. Walk in the room and take the poster. <laughs> <laughs> Once they took the poster, it was fine. That was like my Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. If I don't see that Jack Daniels, I'm good. I post it I from season relate. one, though. I can't relate with this topic. Yeah. I don't have that problem. Are those? No, I don't really have that problem. I'm good, and I didn't go blind. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> yeah, lucky me. It's just that it's amazing because, like you said, with you know Michelle James, who we have on on the uh, like the Pittsburgh Current, uh, our, our podcast network, there is uh, all these different products where they can, they have the uh, woman's uh, nether region. Molded. <laughs> See, that's huh? Nether region. Yeah, I know they're here in the office still. They have they have that. Yeah, and, and people like buy them. Vibrators, they're called. Vibrators. No, 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 the actual no, the actual is called a fifi. Hmm. You know, know what a fifi? Fifi. What? It's kind of scary that I know it. That's what I call then. my cat. A fifi. Yeah, Siri doesn't know it, we got issues. A fifi is uh, with like I had known it from from when I heard it, it like. A lot of long distance drivers and truckers and salespeople. Oh, the pocket pussy. Yes. That's oh, that's what known I, yeah. yeah, we have one in we actually have one in the pocket pussy. Yeah, Thank you. I said it wrong. Fifi. I like, Who calls it Fifi? I've that's what it's that. called. It's like a name for it. Look up the word Fifi and you'll see pocket pussy. No, you'll pos- see Nicki Minaj you'll and see, Takashi Six you'll see Nine. <laughs> Fifi parentheses. Pocket, pocket pussy. pussy. Yes. Hmm. Which is kind of weird that you'd have a Pocket pussy, maybe. Is Jake's it? gonna go investigate this. Yes, please look up. I the know word that fee-fee, it's not. Somebody. It's not called. It's fee-fee. called a fifi. Charlie, is it called fifi? Charlie's on it. What pocket is it? pussy. Oh, flesh. The flashlight. Is it called fifi? It's a. Fl- I just. I thank you. So there, Sarah, you learn something flesh new light. every yeah, day. Yeah, flashlight. Uh, the pocket pussy. I've never heard fifi before. I believe you. I'm. Sa- I believe you. See, <laughs> that's why I haven't heard joint, it. In the joint, I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> yes, Jim, but you're you're holding a one-time use I, pocket pussy I right now. I cannot believe you threw it and I caught this this thing. 
I can. That's only a one-time <laughs> user. I don't get just it. Just caught one and done. A pocket pussy, and this is a one-time and one and done. Yeah, yeah that's one it. You got to throw it away. Oh, it's like pre-lubed bl- and everything. Blow and throw. Really? Yeah. And now this. Whoever came up with this, genius. You, I no. Bet they go on, they, it's what? not green. You oh. need to reuse it. Well, no, reuse, money no. wise. Reuse, no, no, no. You got to keep buying. It. I want this. This would be. This would. This is clogging sharp. up the oceans. <laughs> Do you think a dolphin's going to get the pocket pussy and die? Yes, it's in his blowhole. Which would be sure. very sad. <laughs> I know. I don't want to see it. that documentary Mm-mm. where there where there's a dead dolphin on the beach with, with a pocket with pussy the stuck in, in his blowhole. And oh my God. thank you, mm. catching on Fifi, and it's a throwaway. Although I got to tell you, I'm kind of jealous. I wish I had thought of this. This is one. <laughs> I do. I wish I could see myself on Shark Tank and Mark Cuban just going nuts on it. <laughs> Saying, you know, I want 65% of the company and I'd bite back. Make and I a want... chocolate mold out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when I start the chocolate, we're going to, uh, yeah, this is going to be the next thing, the chocolate mold. This is the, so this is a one and done. How's it work with this? I don't, you got to like take the top thing off. Oh, and then, like, vacuum removed. There's like weird. You remove this thing here mm-hmm. and then you go to town and then you just toss it away. Go to P-Town. Go to uh. P-Town. Then you just throw it in a garbage can. <laughs> you throw it in a garbage can. I don't like that. I think that you should you should keep one that you can like put in the dishwasher. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough? a good idea to yeah. have one. Uh, I think, well, here's what I'd say. It's, it's not sustainable masturbation. That's a true pocket pussy. This is an, un- yeah, this is a true Like, one. it's like. But this Who is something. Who has pockets <laughs> like that? Who has pockets <laughs> shaped like that? That's who's going to, look, this kind of thing here. This is for my glove compartment. Yeah. One of the dishwashers for my dishwasher. <laughs> That's for home use. This is why I is ha- another use. reason why I now hate driving with you. That's on the go. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in that car? <laughs> Do you think I- when I'm not in it. He's sitting well, in the tube. If, if you open up the glove <laughs> <laughs> if you open up the glove compartment, then these fall out. <laughs> like, oh yeah, my throwaways. I'm getting Sorry. out. Officer, I'm, that's fine. I would get out with you. I'd be like, get I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank God. No, I'm really happy that this is a throwaway. Because if it was if it was not, that means I caught one that was, it was you know, <laughs> slightly used, I guess. All right. Let's keep that right here. <laughs> mm. Our Fifi. Cam- Fifi's our guest. Camera? I'm make, I'm make sure it's in the camera <laughs> shot. Okay. There you go. But uh Yes. Up uh, this is the throwaway. We're we're getting this could be a nice sponsor. Yeah. Fifi. The throwaway Fifi. Shoot us an email. How many shows are going to sponsor you? I'm one of them. We, right, Sarah and, Sarah and I would sponsor <laughs> that, the throwaway. But there's, this is a story that uh, I just look for stories every once in a while, at least one story per show, just to piss you off, Sarah. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. Just to make you mad. And this one's going to upset you. All right. A woman named Amethyst Realm, she's from London, was interviewed on British television. She says she had sex with 20 ghosts <laughs> in her life. 20 ghosts, which that's that's a good number. And, and she married the last ghost. She's married to a ghost right now. So she had 20 ghosts. Where did I go wrong? Well, <laughs> what do you mean? It's good she got it out of her system. How did I end up here? She did the 20, had the 20 ghosts, you know. Where is my life? Isn't that headed? nice? What I mean, are you talking about? Well, you... what I'm saying is it's always good to wait for the right ghost to come along if you're going to settle down. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But but this is, yeah. <laughs> you're right. This is upsetting. <laughs> what is, isn't that wild though? She's, yeah, she's interviewed on TV. It's like, it's got, it's got ghost press ghost I mean, people sex. talk so, about this like, walk me She's, through what happens when you bang she a ghost ha- she said she has sex with a regular sex explain with the ghost explain it I to the they, listeners they, they explain to, it they, well i you know they it's like this but with a ghost but, that uh, doesn't help me <laughs> well she didn't really describe exactly she said that she has sex with them and i guess they bang in the bed like it's a ghost like they just okay so I like a possession it, 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 like no, there's a demon no, 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 no. inside of her it, no it's a, it's a like it's an entity intercourse, intercourse consensual lay there have a cigarette after whatever yeah it's consensual okay it's oh yeah no no it's consensual these are boyfriend <laughs> ghosts and they worked right. her and she then engaged one. then fiance then marriage what a great wedding could you imagine that wedding with yeah. the ghost just her on the altar <laughs> what a weird little best man speech well, who officiated who's the them? best man who officiated them who i was don't. like sure i'll i'll make it i'll make it this uh, is a good official. question it was probably you 
They're like, I'll come. I'll come to the UK. I believe you because I believe everything. And I'm Jim Cren. So, yes, of course, I'll officiate your ghost wedding. You know, that's a good question. They, they you probably have, paid for the ticket. They should have questioned her on who married them. Like, because she said she's married. Right. Because I would want to. Where's the wedding photo? Yeah, because or, or, if they don't. <laughs> Or it would look who like was, a nut. Who catered well, it? <laughs> though they probably have wedding photos. Please imagine there's like nothing of him. Like it's all her smiling. Up. Yep. And it's her ghost. And that's it. Which he's a demon in bed. And that's why he married. She married him. But, but they just hold each other. The honeymoon. What's the honeymoon? Like. I mean, so I thought. I thought. Is in a cemetery. Is in a cemetery. <laughs> exactly. It's just a weird. It was just an odd story. I mean. Although it's kind of cool. You know. They call each other. Run house boo. <laughs> My boo. Don't. Huh? At that, that was a good one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dumb one. It was a good <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I like dumb ones. I wonder how. He, how, wonder how the, she didn't go into how they met the husband. You know. Yeah. And they... and when the twenty ghosts that slept with her, did they use pickup lines? Did they use consensual? Protection? Did they say I'm going to make you scream like the people in Haunting in Connecticut or something? I don't know. What? Snapchat the ghost. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess that's their logo as a ghost. I well, the bad thing is the ones that you know. Just Did they have to use protection? I wonder. Like, I are there think, ghost no, STDs? Yeah. She didn't say. You know, isn't that weird? Like, she didn't. She didn't get pregnant yet. Did they that's have babies? weird. Now that you know. Now we're getting I, weird. Now that's weird. That's for no the next ghost interview. baby. What? I wonder how she got on television Check doing this. this. Like, it's like fifty percent see through. How did you? How did you get? Is that a slow news day where you're going to interview this yeah. poor person who's going through this? She's been waiting outside of the newsroom. She's for like really five days. serious though, talking about the. Ghosts. I fucked twenty ghosts. Yes. No. No. Tyranny. <laughs> Make love. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I made love to twenty <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> I'm just saying what she said. But uh, and then married, the hopeless romantic married the. 20- well, you were right about one thing that did upset me. I know. <laughs> so I like it. It's the twenty first ghost, and uh, since we're in, in the romance thing. This story just cracked me up. I don't know why it made me laugh. It's so stupid. Again, in London. The London at the London Zoo, a meerkat handler was ordered to pay compensation for an assault on a monkey handler <laughs> over a romantic <laughs> fight over a llama handler. What? What is going on in London? Let me repeat this. At the London Zoo This is a real lawsuit going on, I guess. It, a meerkat handler was ordered to pay compensation for an assault on the monkey handler. Over a romantic fight over the llama handler. Oh, hey, this is like who's on first. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is like a documentary show. We want to see that love yes. triangle, right? Yeah, petting zoo uh, pariah. We should produce this show. This mm-hmm. is a, this is a show. Yeah, this is like love after love, man. <laughs> Two women, you know, a meerkat and a monkey handler They're fighting, fighting over, over the llama, llama handler. Yeah. I'm, uh-huh. I'm following. Okay, I tr- get it. The, the meerkat. Uh, handler threw a uh, threw a wine glass mm-hmm. at the monkey handler at a party. That's where the problem. Yes, I can see this becoming a reality TV show very quickly. It got ugly. At one point, uh, the meerkat handler and the monkey handler uh, were in the fight, and the uh, and they were being laughed at by the hyena handler. <laughs> I made that one up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That wasn't a good one. Sorry. My gosh. They're like... all not gems here. <laughs> Jake laughs at one out of ten. If Jake laughs, it's kind of funny then, right? Jake still wants you to like him. True. <laughs> True. You're in that stage. <laughs> <laughs> it'll go away. I so, yeah, it'll go away eventually. But I don't know. Yeah, I could see like this, like Bravo <laughs> picking this show up. I, 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 you know how they say like some professions are just whacked, like yes. hairstylists are crazy yes, and bartenders it are works. nuts. Well, maybe it's like animal, like zoologists or zookeepers are just <laughs> fucked. And they're all having sex with each other and they all are like fighting, throwing white wine Absolutely. At each other. No, that's what it is. That's what's going on. That's what I'm trying to say. We, we need this is show on Bravo. We're we need Andy to get Cohen. Andy Cohen in there. On Watch What Happens. We got the American yes. handler here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Who's bartending the llama handler? <laughs> you know, llama handlers get women. Yeah. They just do. Oh, yeah. They just Everybody do. That. That's why you become a llama handler. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. yeah, sad little story i don't know how it's gonna end I we'll feel find bad out for these animals they're probably not getting the attention they're they probably need. not getting handled well no they're not being handled properly there's a little love they're being neglected yeah well there's you know 
It's emotional. What is going on in London? It's are, an London, emotion. Are you okay? Should if you're a no. monkey handler and you're a meerkat handler, you're emotional to begin yeah, with. All course. right. And that's it's not good because you watch it. You know, monkeys masturbate twelve times a day. Did you oh know that? Oh my god, with the masturbation. Sorry, it's on my mind because <laughs> we were covering that subject. Sorry, everybody. I apologize. I do apologize to you. Uh, let, let's just change the subject completely. <laughs> Thank you. I will. All right, we're changing completely to something completely different. How about? Oh, by the way, bomb handler is now the horny toad handler. A oh, bad one again. I'm sorry. I pictured it once again. I pictured these. I, I don't know why. Start drinking on the I show. don't know why. Well, I think I was drinking when I wrote these lines. <laughs> so too. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a joke joke. I'm more of a storyteller. But I don't know why. I, this is why. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm not. A we joke get it. You yeah. yeah. why. We're you following. Know. Sorry. I'm, I, I'm doing it because our intern Kira is trying to learn what uh, not to do. What not to do. I'm trying to teach her what you don't do. You don't write one-lining jokes that are stupid. Okay, bad Kira? jokes. They're bad. Especially when you're sitting next to a pocket pussy. And you don't. <laughs> <and you're laughs> eye level. Sh- and there's a throwaway by your shoulder. <laughs> and, <laughs> and remember, even though you shouldn't write these kind of jokes, and Jake is an enabler. He it, is. Because he laughs, he laughs at, at one them every and five, he encourages him. Yes. I'm ready to quit. I like dad jokes. I'm ready to quit and never do it again. And then he laughs. It's not my fault. We should All do right, a poll. Who anymore. wants Sarah to host the show from now on? Serenity. <laughs> It'd be so much fun. I could just lay here and take a nap. <laughs> just, just wake me up every once in a while. Just poke me. Yep. I would just like, draw a target on your head. And just draw a target. Give me my little throwaway feet <laughs> hole. Yeah. I'll just hold it. <laughs> oh, no. It's a throwaway. It's, a throwaway. it's clean. It's a throwaway. Thank the Lord. No. Thank the this Lord. This is a green show. We so, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Oh, this is a re- It's just plastic. It goes in a plastic bin. You throw it away when you're done with in it. In the plastic bin. That is a plastic fifi. They're going to melt it down and make a new one. This Shut is up, Jake. This is ecological <laughs> friendly. You thought this would kill the dolphin. It would not. Next question. <laughs> Let me get our new sponsor right. Is that right? Is that good? Here we go. Right there. Right. Got it right. Thanks, Jake. They, they <laughs> 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 it's a very serious show. But uh, so anyway... Uh, Sarah and I'm very impressed with it, you know, as you know, I'm a big fan of you, Sarah, and uh, uh, if you're a talent, and and I didn't know, well, I knew she could she could cook, but my God, Sarah is like a Food Network uh, chef, yeah, and because I cannot cook, mm-hmm. uh, she likes to torture me by sending a photo of food while I'm eating a pop tart mm-hmm. of some incredible gourmet meal that she. Can cook like bakes, like salted caramel pumpkin cheesecake and stuff like that. She can make, mm-hmm. uh, which is and it looks like a piece of artwork. It's amazing stuff. Buffalo mac and cheese. I I remember that. That's how good it looked. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how good this. I actually dreamt of it. Yep. The buffalo mac and cheese thing. I don't know why it's weird, but I did like it. I, I didn't taste it. I felt like I taste. I see. You, that's the thing with food. Food is am- very amazing. Yeah. You can see a photo of it. And you're like, your mouth starts. Salivating. It's almost like you could taste it, and where you can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Do you ever take a photo of, like, if you go to a restaurant mm-hmm. of your plate? I always, well, I only take pictures of the stuff that I make. But, yes, I've seen photos. Like, I actually really love when people post pictures of the food. I do, too. I don't Some know why. Some people don't like it. I, 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 I'm into it. I like to see it at the restaurant they're eating in. I like to see it, what they made at home. But you know what I like the best? What? Is when it looks like shit. It looks like really bad. Oh, really? Yeah, when it's like when, when, on a an, on an ugly plate, like on some styrofoam. When like they post it, burned. Yeah. Oh, so like look what I made. Oh. There's this really great Instagram account called uh, <laughs> Cooking for Bay, where people uh, upload pictures of like these bad, oh, bad, like just a piece of like melted, burned American cheese on a slice of toast. Okay. And it's melting so through. It's just the opposite of what we're saying. Yes. Yes. And and there, but there are people that when they're taking a photo, they probably think it's great. Uh-huh. Like, like my buddy uh, uh, Kenny Oldensky, he he, th- he fancies himself seriously. Kenny knows this. He fancies himself to be like a Renaissance man, like he's <laughs> rock climber, hang glider, and he's a gourmet chef. But he's just Kenny. I'm sorry. You know this deep down. It's like one. Of, it's, he's doing it to meet women. Yeah. And that's why I do it. He does not. You know he does. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. He can't bring it. I don't. You like the salted caramel pumpkin cheesecake. That mm-hmm. if he made that, I, I would. I swear he went to Cheesecake Factory or something. There's no way I could buy him. But yep. and he always do some eccentric thing. And I and I, I'm an enabler too. I'll, like he made grass soup the last what? time. I, he had his grass soup. It was about a year ago, and it was it was like unbelievable. You gotta stop hanging out with him. I was in San Francisco. Him. He lived in San. And I was like, Kenny, this is unbelievable. 
but it wasn't. You are a terrible judge of character. It tastes like grass. Myra, Kenny, me. Like, what are you doing? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? That's what so people say. Do you, better. Sarah and Pick Kenny. better people. It's just, well, that's what they say about you and yeah. uh, Kenny and Myra <laughs> hanging with me. So what are you doing with this Grass guy? soup? What's in, what's, in, what's, what's in grass it, soup? It was like a grass. 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 Thanks, Jake. That's, no, Jake, you're right. <laughs> because I ate it. Grass it tastes, and water. I, I thought <laughs> Salt. it was like code for some kind of like, you like know, weed soup. vegan. Oh, I was thinking like Hipster. Soup, like weed soup. Marijuana. Creamy. Lawrenceville soup. Lawrenceville soup. I'm thinking cannabis soup. And uh, oh no no, it wasn't that kind of grass soup. Although that would be a good soup. Why right. not try that? Drinkable cannabis, hot. Why not? It's I don't know. That sounds terrible. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it sounds, sounds good. So bad. Good for you. But uh, now it, it was. It tasted like I went out of my lawn mm -hmm. and ate and put water and ate. I bet that's what he did. No, he didn't. That's the state. He took like hours. <laughs> To make this, so we put it in the crock pot. No, to difference. make a shitty <laughs> 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 soup that tastes like there's dirt. It's like this actually tastes like I was eating. I actually taste like I ate a piece of sod, boiled mm. down into water. I think celery tastes like grass. Yeah, it's not the best tasting. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah, celery tastes like grass. See, that's one of those things where I can't even debate that. I don't know what to say to that, Jake. That's that's nice nod and <laughs> agree. That's a nod and agree line mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, I agree. That's where we don't even know where that's. Celery's like a filler. That's vegetable. the burnout friend line. Mm -hmm. Your burnout friend line. See, you could, you're like, that's the burn, burnout friends say line like that. And you're like, yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Solar <laughs> tastes like grass. <laughs> All right. So, you may, now, the thing is, though, I would love for you to uh, uh, teach me to cook, Siri. Mm -hmm. I think I thought we should do an episode yeah. down the road where, uh, you actually teach me because it'll teach others out there like myself who cook can't cook and there's an art to it. I mean, it really is for baking, especially, I think, uh, well, both everything. But I because, you know, recipes, you know, if you miss one thing, man, mm -hmm. the whole thing just tastes different or yeah. just can ruin the whole thing. So is it something you how do you learn how to do this? And where, where did this come from? Is something you bad just, parenting? Yeah. Yeah. You did, you <laughs> I just had to cook all the time. So for you myself. winged it. I so winged you, it. Trial and error. Huh. But mostly, like, I just had to cook for my siblings, cook for myself. So you were like a self-made Bobby Flay. I don't know who that is, but yeah. Oh, my I'll God. Go, oh, his last name's Flay, so. Bobby Flay. F-L-A-Y. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Flay. Great. Flay. Oh, great chef. <laughs> great chef. Well, Bobby Flay's on the Food Network, uh, and he's one of the people on the Food Network. I got to tell you, Sierney, not just saying this is my friend, your food, the pictures, I didn't taste it. <laughs> No, you tasted the uh, pineapple upside down. Oh, taste. that was unbelievable. That yeah. was unbelievable. I mean, the ones I, I saw the, pine, the the cheesecake thing in the back, mm -hmm. it looked great, but it looked like Food Network stuff. Yeah. Caliber. Yeah. I, I'm I think you can hang. I think so with too. With Flay. Yeah. I don't like to brag too much, but yeah. I, no, I, I, I mean, do. no, I you could brag about that. I'll back you up on that. I mean, I, I would love you to teach me to cook, and I want to be uh, pretentious mm -hmm. like Giada. Now, I watch Food Network. Do you know who Jetta, that is? Oh, you have to watch Food Network. No, don't. She's a, uh, she's a, like an Italian. She cooks Italian, mm -hmm. and she actually uh, emphasizes her. I don't know why, just her certain word. If you know who she is, Jake, be Giada. No, Kira. She's on Food Network, and she does. How much TV do you watch? A lot. A lot. Although she, I'm lucky. I have like two hours to watch TV a day, but mm -hmm. you watch I, every network at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his iPad. There's, 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 <laughs> there's only there's only one person. There's only one person that matches me. It maybe edges me out right here, Siren. Yeah. I think she beats me slightly, I don't, I, which is I'm, I'm amazed at. You can, mm -hmm. you know. No, I watch a lot of TV. She crushes. And you them. can tell. And we're about. I think we're close <laughs> to mm -hmm. that neck and neck on that. Yeah. I think you edge me slightly, but a Jada, yeah, she like she, she she's like this pretentious cook. Mm -hmm. She's kind of snobby. That's like not she me. goes, you need here's what you need some feta cheese, like you know, like feta I can't cheese? pronounce words like feta cheese. Mozzarella. You know, like mozzarella. she's that person. That yes, person. That's how I say mozzarella. Really? Mozzarella. mozzarella. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. You but it's, I'm saying it ironically. Dram dramatic. Yeah. That's mozzarella. it. I want to be a dramatic chef. But I, I think I, I'd love to learn. Why don't you guys tell us what you want me to teach Jim to cook? Of cooking, with Cooking with Cooking Sirene. Cooking with Sirene. Uh, tell me what recipes you'd like to learn, and I will teach Jim on an episode in the future. I can cook just about anything, including bread. I make really good fresh bread. Oh, I, I gotta tell you, I, so, I, I could show you a few things too, Sarah. I, mean, I doubt I, it. What's up, Jake? Grass have, soup. Grass soup. No, I'd have to. <laughs> it would be my first shot. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, I could give you guys the ultimate meal. 
I, I mean, I joke around that I can't cook, but there's certain things I can make. No, like there definitely isn't. Here, let, I have proof of this, actually. Jim <laughs> was like, hey, I have this great weight loss shake for you. You're trying to like get in shape and lose weight. I have this weight loss shake. You got to try this. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. I never tried it. As soon as I look at the back of it, it's like a packet of pink powder, which is weird enough. Yeah. 11 grams of sugar. Yes. In in the weight loss shake. So yes. He doesn't even read labels. And, so he, there's and, just and no way. And he didn't know the fun part about it is it's a powder and you snort it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, you missed all the fun. So the ultimate meal that I'm going to teach Sirini and everyone out there, this is the meal that I make here. I start off with an appetizer of uh, Cheetos mixed with Frito-Lays paired with a nice Boone's Farm strawberry wine. Mm. Second course, cup of soup. Cup of Love soup. cup of soup. Oh, the ramen? Uh-huh. Yeah, I like those too. The have you ever had the spicy one? I did. Yeah. I could bring, I can, if you wanted, I can make the spicy one mm -hmm. too for you. But uh, it's, I, there's a little trick that I have where I, I, I pour out some of the water mm -hmm. so it's not as soupy. See, I like the broth. I like when it's broth. I will save you the broth on yeah. the side. Do you <laughs> ever put butter in it? Like a little stick? Like I've never done that. Really? Good hack, yeah. Really? Yeah, just like a little pad huh. of butter. Wait. In the cup of noodles, yeah. Wow. Trust me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to do it now. It's really I'm good. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> this is huge for me. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Huh. Yeah. Okay, then what? What? After well, this well, well my main what? dish is butter involved. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever had this. Cure the intern. I want to know if you had this either. Jake, Sierney, mm -hmm. you may have had this because mm -hmm. we grew up with the same kind of style life. Uh, the main dish uh, is a lightly toasted white bread. Mm -hmm. Then you get a heavy butter. Heavy butter. Heavy cinnamon butter. sugar? No. Oh, okay. Heavy butter. Then you get potato chips. Mm -hmm. Whatever one you like the most. Greasy ones are good. I got to go classic. Oily classic. one. And you crush them. Mm -hmm. Crush them, okay? Then, you ready for this? Pan sear. Pan sear, just flash, jumbo. Like a salmon. <laughs> like a, just like a salmon, folks. <laughs> Think of it like a... <laughs> it's just like a fresh caught wild you Alaskan pan salmon. Pan sear. <laughs> Except with bread and potato chips and butter. Exactly. <laughs> so you just pan sear it because you don't want your... The problem is, see, you don't want your jumbo too well done. <laughs> That's what it's called, a jumbo? Well, bologna. That's bologna. Bologna. Oh, I'm sorry. Bologna. Okay. That's oh, chef serious. talk. Sorry. You I didn't know what you were talking stay about Stay with me, Siri. It's chef talk. All right. Jumbo. Jumbo. Gotcha. It's bologna talk. Okay, got it. Got so it. Jumbo. But you pan Stuff sear I it. I my cats. Yeah, I got it. Kira's writing this down. Or into <laughs> this <laughs> recipe. And then you pan sear because you, you don't want it to go too well done. Of course not. It's like tuna and or salmon. You want the jumbo just right. So gracious. Then you put it on the, the bread and then you put it and you smush it down in your hand. Like, like this. Because you want the potato chips to be crunched in there, into the bread. And that is your entree. <laughs> and your dessert is anything you want. Ice cream or something. That's usually my thing. Trailer park soup. Anything in the uh, I dessert <laughs> in my house, anything in the freezer. It's yeah, yours. yes. I Whatever do. you want in there, it's yeah. yours. You know what's funny is like I love cooking big, elaborate, Seven course meals, baking like salt, this like salt I just caramel. Yes. Oh, that, you know, your stuff is a complex <clears throat> man. Your stuff's like a chemist. It's I like, do that like you're once like Walter a week. White in the. In the I in do the that once band. a week, but my favorite things to eat come from the dollar store. I swear, like the White Castle burgers, uh, pizza rolls. See, that's what I live on every chim day. Chimichangas, I taquitos. Ah, oh, I love the. Taquitos. Welcome to my world, my yeah, friend. I love them. I mean, that's I, wish I, I stay could so eat healthy. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's what keeps my skin gray. Velveeta cheese, shells of cheese. <laughs> yeah, so that's all. It's, don't laugh, Jake. That's why I have my high cholesterol. <laughs> the uh, my parking reminder came up. I love the parking app, by the way. Do you? Which one do you use? It's the one for the city of Pittsburgh. Okay. Mobile parking. Yeah. He uses the Cleveland parking app. Well, there's two. There's meter feeder, and then I, there's. I didn't know that. Whatever this one. Whatever that one is. It's the greatest oh, thing I ever. Apologize. <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> yes. If you, if you know, the great isn't the greatest thing. The greatest app ever know, is the parking park meter app. I have a bike, so I just. Lock you don't it need up. that, but <laughs> I love it. Well, you shouldn't have to pay for parking anyway. But oh, really? Is it free? But I've been paying the whole time. No, I'm saying that. <laughs> Pittsburgh sucks with paying for parking. <gasps> Pittsburgh does not suck. Parking, yeah. <laughs> Pittsburgh parking authority, yeah. Too specific. All emails to Jake. <laughs> yeah, direct. All ones complaints. Not As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. if you have any complaints, send them to Jake. Because we I'll <laughs> forward them Jake to at MyraSchneider.com. Send them all to Jake. <laughs> I care. 
Yeah. The show but, has uh, gone off the rails. It is always off the rails, <laughs> my friend. It is always off the rails. I want to do Would You Rather. Bring us back. Yeah, we're bring us back. Up. We're ready to wrap up here. We talked about it. We talked about everything. We got everything covered. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we are going to do a show where you legitimately... Have you ever had, did you have the sandwich I'm talking about, the potato chips and the butter? Have you had this? No, I don't like bologna. So. I've had that, yeah. No, no, no. Knock the bologna out. You can go the vegan route. No bologna. <laughs> it's just the chips mm-hmm. and the butter. The butter's not have vegan. Have you had it, Jake? Yeah, that was like a Saturday lunch tradition. Oi. Thank you. It's yeah. the best, right? Uh-huh. How good is that? Pretty good. Did you grow up in a trailer park, too? Yeah, next to the gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the alley. Kara? Just bologna and bread and potato chip and butter? You know, I really recommend the potato chip and the butter first. Build your way up. I don't think you should go right to the balloon. It's a little too much. So so why don't you guys tell us what you want us to cook? And we will do stuff like this. If you want to see this, Jim will show me how to cook the, uh, the white I will do my salmon. sandwich. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious. You should try it. It's really good. It's addictive. Okay. Really good stuff. I'll try it. I, don't, I can't yeah. do bologna, but I'll try the other stuff. All right. So here's our... <laughs> We can do it? cooking with our microwave in the tiny closet. <laughs> That's perfect. We're we'll all squeeze in there. Jake can stand in the slop sink. Uh, here's a would you rather for the show. We like to do. Would you rather have all dogs attack you when they see you or all birds attack you when they see you? Ooh, aerial attack. Yeah, all dogs. Like every dog that sees you I love dogs can so attack much. you. That would be hard That's what I thought, too. Although Larry bites me all the time. He doesn't really... Like, <clears throat> Not all the time, but he'll jump out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> he's like Cato in it. But birds are everywhere. You so could never abo- or, uh, avoid birds. That's what would suck. Yeah. If you'd yeah. be walking down the street having like a good day and a fucking bird takes you out. Every day on my way in like, to work, to and from, I have to ride through Lake Elizabeth Park. Yeah. There's a thousand geese and ducks. I mean, I would be dead before I got to work. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do it. it would th- There's well, also a dog park, though. You'd be like Tippy Hedder. <laughs> Shit. The, the, yeah, the dog park, you'd get bit. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think I would, I'm would. i going to go birds to attack me because I would miss my dogs. And mm-hmm. like you said, I think yeah. I'd go birds to attack me. I think because it'd be easier to stay away from a bird, maybe. I don't think it would. I think birds are just... Maybe how that movie, The Birds, back in the half of Hitchcock movie. Birds are but everywhere. I, yeah, that would suck. It I got to go... Like Dog. every bird would attack, but that bird has to see you, though. Yeah. What if he doesn't see you? They birds can see you from miles away. That's how birds hunt. Mm. Aerial man, if they're up high, they always have God, the advantage. So to I gotta go. Dog. It would break my heart because I love dogs. That's why I'd have to pick birds. Yeah. Although it would suck when to go to Market Square and get attacked by pigeons all the time. <laughs> Don't go. You can't go to Market Square anymore. That part of your life's over. It would be over. If I said yeah. to you guys, hey, I'll meet you guys on Permanis in Market Square. Boom. Mm-mm. No, I'm not. Although or I could we could go, go in like a little Pope box, like a little glass box. I would have to come up with something like mm-hmm. that. or just An umbrella. No, I just put my head. You think an umbrella is going to protect you from a flock of birds? I think I'd go. A pigeon. A lot of pigeons. You said every bird. So it's not just ever going to be one this bird. This is Pittsburgh. This is pigeon attack. It'd be basically mm-hmm. pigeons. Yeah. Even birds that you thought are geese. We got swallows. We got sparrows. Even, we got geese. What did you say? Are geese? You yeah. think they are. Just hearing. They but are they're geese. really pigeons. They're, are you crazy? They're all pigeons. They're in disguise. Overgrown. It's Pittsburgh. Jim's I'm been, kidding. <laughs> ben, Jim has been drinking today. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did you take ecstasy uh, today? Yeah, I did. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I would put like a glass thing over my head. Yeah, there you go. See, that's, that's a way around it. There's always a loophole. Because I could take a hit of a bird in my body, I think. No, not a bunch of them, though. That's true. Every bird would want to come at me. Even in the winter, there are birds. So it's not like it could be a seasonal thing. So I got to go Same thing with dogs. Dogs don't disappear. Right, but there are significantly less dogs, I would argue. Well. Especially outside. But you would get. I don't. eh. Listen. You would never be able to have a dog. This ends the same for me because I would be the happiest woman on earth if I could just stay at home and have Uber Eats delivered and never leave my house. Yeah. With my cats. And then nobody's attacking me. That right. would always, I mean, that would just be great. I would just never leave my house again. I'd be fine with that. But hmm. I got to get to work. I got to get to the right. Jim Cren show. Yeah. I got to get to places. So You do. And I see less Birds. dogs. No, I see less dogs. So, and I wouldn't, yeah. So I would have to go. I'll take the, the birds uh, not attacking me. The dogs. Oh, really? You're going to dogs attack you? Yeah. Because I think I could avoid dogs easier. Yeah, you can handle Larry biting you, I guess. And I don't fight. I can't fight. And I'm not, I could never hit a dog off of me. I would just let it eat me. I uh, could never hit a dog. No. Or kick a dog it off. It would me. just eat you. Yeah. Break, you'd be, well, so you'd have dogs mm-hmm. attack you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd be bit every day. 
somewhere. Although I'd be able to. have your eyes pecked out the first day. You I, would. Yes, I would. I'd be blind right now with my eyes pecked out. You'd get, and, but you could get a service dog. And to I would walk get you a around. service dog who would love me and hate Siri. And then we would never have to hang out again. No. <laughs> Siri would have to, Siri would be, on a, there'd be a cage here <clears throat> for Siri because the dog would be <laughs> crying, coming up. And, I, and I'd have a bunch of little p- peck marks on my face. <laughs> 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 fucked up. My face would be like all two holes. Two eye and, patches. Yeah. Two eye patches. Mm-hmm. My ears would be just sticking, little, <laughs> raw little things sticking. And my, me, my trusty Fifi, you'd have to hand it to me. I'd be like this. Oh, dear God. So I'm going dogs. <laughs> my gift. That's my gift for the show. Thank you, Jake. You're welcome. Is there any gift? That I does not belong to you. That's Michelle's. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's Michelle James? Yeah, you can't have that. I mean. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, we're raffling it off tomorrow. Oh, you tease me like this. Uh, you well, give me this gift and you take it away? <laughs> we're about wow. to see the wrath of Jim. <laughs> <laughs> like our our viewers are aware that you're horny. Like they got it. <laughs> now no, you're threatening Jake. That. Is that horny? Come on, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's very normal. I'm gonna have Michelle James uh, sign that <laughs> for me tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night we go to her party. Can't wait. What's the She's other would you nice. rather you got? Hmm? What's the other would you rather? You had another oh, one. I did that was really one. good. It was uh, if you if a war broke out mm-hmm. in our city because of war. Google forbid. Yes. Would you rather it be a water balloon fight or a food fight? <laughs> and that's the only weapons you can use, water balloon or food. Oh, that's that is easy. your weapons in the war. That's so easy. I'm balloon, balloon. Food. Oh, oh I balloon. wouldn't do, Why would you want to do food? Because I love food. I do too, but I don't want to throw it. Well, I would you? love having food be my enemy. thrown at me all the time. Well, like, up oh, sandwich. Wouldn't it be turkey. kind of fun to have a water balloon fight all the time? Bloody Mary. <laughs> It'd be a great. I think oh. Pittsburgh. We had that big water balloon fight a couple years ago. See, I think you get you could have more injuries. Oh, forget about. And deaths with the food that? fight. I don't care. Who cares yeah. about that? Who I cares? We get hit in the corner on a, the corner Free on a cob. Free food, and Jim. It's no joke. Then all the birds would be flying around getting the food, and you'd be getting attacked by birds too. Free exactly. food. Exactly. But a water balloon fight that'd be nice. It'd be fun. Yeah. Although in the winter be suck all the plastic. Yeah, exactly. We have to get through the winter be tough. Be throwing hot cocoa at each other in the like winter. Ice like, balloons. Thank you. Ice balloon with her. I think a food fight yeah. sounds friendly. Friendly. Yeah, and and food polite fights are not friendly. They're I think wicked. There's free food. Do we have to pay for the food we're, we're uh, fighting with? It's a war. Siren. There's a, there's always going to be so budgets the government. In war. So like They're government very expensive. cheese. Wars are expensive. So we're just fighting with government cheese. It's going to be expensive war. Okay. Millions, billions of dollars for the defense budget. Yeah, so I'm going to. We'd stick have to with have food. food. You'd have to have like you know potato bazookas and mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. types of war stuff. Yes, whatever. food fight, absolutely food fight. And I'd just be in the like trenches collecting. Food, I am going taking well, it back to my hole, hiding from birds. In your hole, I'm <laughs> going. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going water balloon fight for me. I think it'd be better because be, I think it'd be a little safer because I could have a meal. It's war. Nobody's safe. War is hell. Nobody's safe from balloons. Mm-hmm. I but like that. That's a really, really clever one. What? Would you rather? That. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Oh, I end on a compliment. <laughs> that was your Sirene. first Thank ever you. compliment from Sirene. Yes, and I'm going to end the show on that. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> and I'm going to quit that's now. A gem. <laughs> that is a gem. All right? And say no to all drugs. And yeah. if you do, curious, you read about them, ask Sirene first. Ask Sirene first. She'll prove it for you or not. All right. Thanks, Jim Crenno. Restrictions with Sirene. <laughs>